Yo, what's going on, guys? Soul Shocker, welcome back to another plugin tutorial. Today, we're doing it on the plugin Custom Voting. This is like a substitute for GA Listener if you uh, have used that plugin before for your voting sites. And uh, this plugin also hooks onto Votifier, so you need Votifier as well. And there's a few things you need to change if you're using the 1.9, 1.10 version, uh, server version. So there's a few things you need to change in the config before you can get ready. So I'm going to show you guys what it will look like. So basically when you do slash vote, which is right here, there's an internal error that occurred while attempting to perform this command. So I'll show you guys how to fix that if you're running 1.9, 1.10. Alright, so here we are in the config for custom voting, and by default, the, when the plugin loads, it loads 1.8 sound effects. So depending on your server version, you might or may not have to change it. So for me, um, when doing this tutorial, I'm running the 1.10 version. So when the sound names, if you guys know, sound names have changed for 1.9 and 1.10. So when the plugin loads and as you saw I did slash vote and it said that an error occurred. So this is what the error is. Really what the error is telling you is that hey I can't I can't use this level up sound because I'm running 1.10. So there's all these uh, level up. So level up, note playing, cowher, chest open. All these are the 1.8 sound names. So you have to change all these depending on what server version you're running. 1.9, 1.10. You'll have to change that. So. There will be a link down in the description for this page. This is list all the uh, sound names for 1.10. So basically, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy and paste all these. So block note bass, and then I'm just going to change this uh, to instead of level up, that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to have to change all the note sounds. I mean, all the sounds for the 1.8 to the 1.9, 1.10 version. All right, so we have changed all the names. We have changed sound effect right here. We have also changed uh, this crate open, and we have changed all these as well. So I'm just going to show you a few things. So you can do fireworks, uh, true or false, and you can do all this stuff. And then you have extra rewards as well. And then uh, top one, top two, and top three for voting. And you can also use the sign. So I'm going to show you this all in game. So you don't really have to worry about anything in the config. Alright, so here we are back in game, and to change the settings for the vote, uh, here we'll check slash vote, and you see there's no more errors at all, which is pretty cool. So, do slash vote settings, and this will bring up a nice little GUI. So here is vote commands, and this will give you the header links and sounds, and so we're going to change the header. So, you can, right now, what you want to do, as you see right here, it says uh, vote for whatever name so we're going to change the header for that so we're going to type in uh, we're going to make some really really fancy brackets so we're going to actually we're going to make that purple I guess I can't think of a name right now so we'll put in the brackets as you see right there vote for YouTube and if we do slash vote again as you see right there vote for YouTube so we have changed that and then uh, we'll go ahead and type in slash uh, vote settings again so vote commands and then we can change the links as well so this is link one link two link three and link four so you can change the vote the voting link so as you see right here here where it says one and then vote link one dot com so say uh you added it to like minecraft server list so we'll type in like uh we'll do minecraft server list dot com so we'll type in that and as you see vote link one and then if you do slash vote and then as you see right there it has changed minecraft server list dot com so what you want to do uh, when you're changing the voting links of course get the link url for your specific voting site and then just copy and paste it in there when you're editing so that's pretty pretty cool I find this plugin very very helpful because you can edit everything in the game you don't have to worry about any of the config stuff which is really really cool so next we're going to go on to rewards so you can edit vote rewards edit extra rewards edit the crate rewards and then edit the voting rewards so uh, this is the voting rewards that we have right now is one piece of cobblestone so obviously you want to get the stuff in your inventory so uh, let's say all the voting rewards that uh, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some TNT some obby oops i didn't mean to grab that but they can have a uh, moss stone <laughs> sure why not give them a pumpkin and uh we'll give them uh some diamonds so we'll give them some diamonds obviously you don't want them to have like 64 diamonds unless you're doing like an op server or whatnot so we're gonna give them that and we're gonna give them a spawn egg so <laughs> so we'll do all that and then we'll go back into vote settings 
rewards and then edit the boat rewards and we'll stick all this stuff in here. I will take the piece of cobblestone out because why not. So as you see, boating rewards have been updated, which is amazing. You can also edit the crate rewards. So by default, everything is cobblestone. So as you just saw from the previous one, just go ahead and just change the rewards to whatever. So it's pretty cool how all this stuff works. And then the boat crate, you can change whatever we can make an inner chest and whatnot so you can go ahead and change all that go back to the boat settings and now we're going to change the messages so as you see right here this is uh when someone votes this is what it will bring up we'll put uh bold and then we'll say the service service stands for whatever voting site so like minecraft .com, that's what the service means so voted at that and then we'll say it has received and then depending on what rewards that you put and we'll put plus one voting key and then you can put whatever and then as you see right there so username has voted at service name has received plus one voting key so that's pretty cool that's the vote message so that's all with the messages uh and then we're gonna go to other settings other settings are the vote commands so the vote commands is true or false so as you see if it's green that means it's true and if it's red then it, that means it's false so you can change that if you want and then extra commands uh set the true set the false and then here is the extra reward chance and then write down the chance that you want it to be 15 so percent so there we go you don't have to put the percent sign it already uh calculates that and then you can also set the MOTD, which is kind of cool another really cool feature about this plugin it has a built-in crate system so you can get like voting crates and also has signs, top signs, I'll show that a little bit later. So for the crates, go back into your vote settings, go to rewards, and here's a vote crate. So by default, it's already an ender chest. And so how this plugin works, so say uh, if you get like an e-chest and you just place it on the ground, it automatically associates the e-chest with the vote crate. So to prevent that, what are you going to do if you have like a rename uh, plugin, a renaming plugin, you can just like rename your ender chest. Uh, but if you have essentials and you don't have a rename, so basically just go I E chest and then one and then change the name colon and we're going to put brackets and then we're going to call this voting crate. And uh, to space it out with essentials, you need an underscore uh, to space it out. So voting crate. And then we're going to close it off with brackets. So we're going to give myself one of these voting crates. And so now what we're going to do is go back into vote settings. And then go back to rewards. Go back to your vote crate. Swap it out with your voting crate. So you have a name in there instead of just like a regular ender chest. Have something named in there. Uh, then we have the voting crate. And then after you, you see it says vote crate updated. Now we're going to go ahead and give myself give crate soul striker and then two so you don't have to really name anything it by default already gives it to you so we got two vote crates now we're gonna place it down and boom there we go we have our rewards as you see right here which is pretty cool we got creeper eggs spawn a whole bunch of creepers <laughs> so uh, pretty cool so we got another vote crate and of course you can change all these rewards in the vote settings as you saw right here if we go vote settings rewards and then edit create rewards so these are the rewards as you see i've gotten so if you place a regular inner chest, it's just a regular inner chest and it works perfectly fine. So make sure when you do your uh, voting, uh, if you're using the custom voting plugin, if you're using that for your crate system, make sure to go ahead and rename whatever it is that you're going to use for your vote crate and uh, it works perfectly great. Now for the sign, so basically what you're going to do, go ahead and place the sign down in brackets, capital V, make sure it's capital V, and then close brackets, and then it produces a nice little color sign for top voters. And then what you're going to do is go ahead, place brackets, votes again, and then you're going to do top one, which is top voter. So if there is someone who has done the top voting, it will produce their name right there, and then it will tell how many votes they have, and then you can also do... Uh, same thing top two and then you're going to do the same thing again for top three and then top three right there so it just produces top one top two and top three so this is the plugin very very well developed plugin developer is super active producing updates like every single day which is really nice and private message him on the spigot forums and he'll answer he'll help you out and everything so it's very very helpful plugin very well developed all right, this concludes the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Link will be down in the description. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. You can put it in uh, the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.